Today I'm going to show you another very cool Power BI trick. I'm going to show you how to create buttons like these. Let's see what happens when I click on them. Click, select open and then my Skype opens and I can directly place a phone call from within the report. This is actually a functionality which as of today is simply not possible with native Power BI functionality. But with our HTML, CSS, custom visuals, creating this solution is actually very simple. I'm going to show you how it's done step by step. I'm going to show you how to create different button types, but I'm also going to show you, and I think that's important for many of you, is a way to use this with our visuals, but still completely free because it's within the free limited version of the visual. But um, I would say let's just dig in. So I would like to start with showing you the main structure of how to do an HTML link like that. So I'm going to create a new measure, call it call. And as always, when we start with HTML, because it's not the DAX, we need to start with a double quote. And then HTML also requires us to add an angle bracket in the beginning. And then we need to add the href statement, which is the main statement that we use to create high, any kind of hyperlinks in HTML. The link equals to, and then in single quote. And before I show you how to do the tell link, the phone call link, I'm going to show you how to do a regular link. Um, because I think that's good to have a basic understanding. So normally our links would point to a website. So I'm just going to add the, the URL of the website I want to show. Close the single quote. Close the angle bracket. And then I type in the text that the end user will actually see. So uh, let's say visit website. And then I'm done with this, so I need to just close the A angle bracket, which I have opened over here. So we have opened the bracket, and here we're closing it again. Confirm with enter. And then I can add any of the two visuals, so the HTML text styler or the HTML CSS viewer to the report. It will work in both of them at my measure and when I now click on here I get this pop-up telling me you know you want to navigate to the website yes of course I want to and I'm here on the website but today's topic is not about hyperlinks but it's hyperlinks to make phone calls so we just need to make a small adjustment to our um, measure and we need to add the word Tell, because that's really what we need to do. And we need to move the single quote. No, hang on, that was correct. So we need to add a tell link to make a phone call. And then I will just type in a phone number. And also rename it to call. Confirm with enter. Let's see what happens. This call should now be what's shown to the user. And because I've added the tell, the link will now not open up my browser, but it will open up my local tool that I have configured to work with these tell links. So open, and the number from my measure is already pre-populated, and I could simply call the person with this number. Of course, because we are using HTML, CSS, Styling options are limitless. So on this sample report is only a couple of different buttons. But of course, if you think of a website, there's thousands or millions of different ways how buttons look. So um, feel free to, to play around with one of our existing measures or simply create your very own button from, from an existing button that you might find on a website. So let me just show you a couple more of the measures we have in here. So let's look at this one specific button here. And if we look at the measure, we can see that this time 
we actually don't use a hard-coded number that we typed into the measure, which of course makes a lot more sense because normally you want to have everything dynamic in your report. So we are actually getting the number from our customers table. And then we return again a ahref. So we create a hyperlink. And then we just add some styling to it. Some, this is all some CSS styling. This is what our button should, should look like. Um, so for example, here we say that the whole thing should be a round button. Um, we define font size and so on. And basically then in the very end, we also say what the user should see. And in here we have added this um, phone emoji. I uh, just want to show again how you get to the emoji keyboard. It's if you press Windows full stop on your keyboard, you actually get the emoji uh, emojis here. And somewhere in here, there's also a phone. We could also use a different phone. Let's just see what this looks like. Probably would need to rearrange that a little bit. I think it looked better before, but it doesn't really matter. Just to show, um, there's a lot of possibilities. Let's add the one we had. I think the rest of that was a bit more optimized for this kind of image. Okay, so this is our button. And of course, we can also integrate the button into a list. So this is sort of a list. Uh, maybe I'm going to use this example here to better explain how it's actually set up. So let's look at also this measure. In this specific case, I have defined two variables. First one getting me the phone number, second one giving me the name of the customer. And then what I actually did, and let me just move this down so we can see it. I actually created an HTML table. And Tables, of course, can be used for many different use cases. And there's a specific knowledge base article on our website, including a video which explains the basic structure of an HTML table. And that can help a lot with um, using our visuals. So I'm creating a table with one row with um, two columns. So TD is the column. So we have one TD and the second TD. Uh, in the first column, the one on the left, we have the first variable. Well, the second variable, but it's the name of the customer. That's the one here. And in the second column, you probably have guessed that, we use the same thing again. So here we have the A, href. We use the tell link to make call to the phone number coming from our data set. So this is fully dynamic. And because I have in my data set, actually, I only have two rows, of course, the same thing would work with um, with more rows with a bigger data set. And what I did is I also added the customer from the customer table into the category placeholder, which actually makes sure that I have one row per element of my table. So if I get rid of the customer, I don't have anything in, in here, but if I add the customer, I have every row. So that's basically sort of like a phone list, right? So I have a full list of all the people I might want to call. And if I call the number here, click on that one, of course, I always get the correct number pre-populated in my, in my phone app. Good. Um, here just another couple of examples of how to style this again uh, feel free to play around with with um, some of these settings I think it's quite easy to understand I mean you know background color um, border border radius shadow just play around with these numbers create a button that you that you like and then either have a standalone button or maybe again have a link or a list or even like here a list with integrated buttons uh, let's quickly look at that because it's also an option so we have the same 
idea, it's the same idea like before, but in the second column, so basically this is the second column, we just added the call button, which is exactly the same measure than the one used here. Again, lots of possibilities. Um, I think I forgot to mention how to use this for free. Um, I think that's important for a lot of people. Let's look at this one measure here, where we just say, um, let me get rid of the license key, just to prove that this actually works. So now the Unlock the Pro features are turned off and it still works. And it still works because the DAX code we're using um, is below the, the threshold that is, uh, that is in place for to, to, to in order to, to be able to use the, the, the free functionality. So short measures work for free. Um, nicely styled buttons um, might reach a limit where a license is needed. But yeah, I think that's actually quite a nice little trick which um, we have actually used in real life reports for a client that is running a um, call center. So it was one of the requirements that the people using the report do not need to leave the report in order to call back one of their clients. So they can just, you know, scroll through, uh, make selections, click on the button and um, start a phone call. So yeah, I hope that was interesting, that was helpful. So please go ahead and download our, our visuals. Also make sure to get the sample reports from the website because the sample reports contain many more ideas what you could do with the visuals. Um, I'm going to post links to the sample report and other interesting resources in, in the comments below. Uh, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this and um, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.